It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Corona Extra from Mexico. It's 4.5% ABV in a clear glass 330 milliliter bottle. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Apologies for the sound. My mic, I'm having a few problems with my mic at the moment so I'm recording this beer review without a mic. So on we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Now I'm using a regular lager glass tonight, as it is a regular lager. Now this stuff, I think it's worthy of a review. Mill Lane in Cardiff is a very popular destination for eaters. Um, if you go down Mill Lane, you have all of the expensive restaurants and they serve this. And this beer retails from £5 to £5.50 a bottle. So I wonder what all the fuss was about. Good levels of carbonation. Rising up the glass. That's a, as I said, it's a clear beer, like golden coloured ale. Good one finger white head. Let's get the aroma. It smells like a light lager. Such a lemon. Maybe some rice. I mean, if you boil the pan of boiled rice, there's not that much of an aroma. That's what I'm kind of getting at here. It's not screaming at you. But when you brew with rice, how many times have you had a, have you boiled a pan of rice and it tastes different from the last pan of rice? This is the point. It's about, for these guys, brewing millions of gallons of this beer, billions of gallons, probably a year, millions of gallons, I don't know. It's about consistency. And rice is the most consistent product you can, you can brew with to extract the sugars from. So again, you're talking about one pan of rice, have it one, one month, have a different pan of rice from a different, different part of the world and it'll taste exactly the same. It's all down to consistency. Let's dive in. Cheers. a light lager slightly carbonated what it has as a massive benefit is the fact that it, it, it is so sluggable it's a really really sluggable drink four pints no problem beer sunny afternoon in a beer garden Mill Lane in Cardiff, generally, Google up Mill Lane in Cardiff, you'll see pictures on, on the internet, but generally it's, it's got the sunshine all afternoon along that row, it kind of comes around on a corner. It used to actually be, they used a canal network there many moons ago, back in the 1930s, I think they closed it, but it was on the banks of a canal, Mill Lane. So all of the buildings have got a kind of a, it's got a shipyard look to it. Um, it it's very nice down there. It's very nice, nicely cut trees and, and £5.50 bottles of, of Corona. If you're happy to pay that. But you can imagine if the sun's shining, boiling hot day, pizza, cold lager. Before you know it, four or five hours have passed. However... They were the pros. That's me being as fair as I possibly can with this beer. Because I've changed my attitude. I used to rip into these beers. I used to give them a right old rollock in, if you like. But I've, I'm trying to change my attitude because there's a lot of people who drink this. What I will say to you guys out there who, who may be tuning in to watch this beer review because you want to watch me review a, a Corona. You might think it's a funny video or you might be somebody who's a fan of Corona and you've found the video, video and you've tuned in. My message to you would be try this, drink this, enjoy this but maybe enjoy a, a, an American style pale ale at the same time or a session IPA or maybe a Saison. That's all, that's, they're equally refreshing beers. If you're looking for flavour, if you're looking for grapefruit, or mango, if you're looking for a craft beer, 
this is miles miles and miles from craft this is as generic as it's gonna get for a beer it's probably the most generic beer in the world i know a lot of people actually put a bit of lime in the 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 bottle maybe just to add a bit of flavor because it really is one of the most flavorless beers out there but again that's that's probably my my way my my kind of changing my ways and, and that's as bad as I'm going to kind of get with this beer. I'm not going to start raving about this beer because there's just no point. There's just no point. What I will constructively do is ask you to maybe try an American Pale Ale or a Saison or, or something really full of flavour and it'll open your world to beer. If you think, how many times do you buy the same bottle of white wine how many because i know what a lot of people out there they'll purchase four of these on a bottle of bottle of white wine or a bottle of red wine it's fantastic but generally when people people buy wine they buy different varieties and styles and, and wine from all over the world this day and age, there is beer from every country in the world, craft beer from every country in the world. Uh, it, it's a booming industry and there's some fantastic things going on in the beer world. So if you are a Corona drinker, it's fine. I've got no problem with that. But maybe maybe think along the lines of, of wine culture. Trying a different wine, trying a different beer from around the world. Try and put your wine buying culture the way in which you buy your wine. You, you go down the wine aisle in the supermarket and you oh, look at this one from this country, or look at this one from this country. Maybe do that with beer. Maybe go down the beer aisle. It, it's kind of just as big now as, as, as the wine aisle. It, it's really expanded over the last five years. Maybe go down the beer aisle and find a nice Portuguese beer or, or a nice beer from America or, or Germany or, or Belgium. It's all there. It's all there for you to see. So I will rate the beer, uh, it is a beer rating channel, I will rate the beer. For me, as I mentioned at the very start of this beer review, if you want something highly, highly refreshing on a Sunday afternoon maybe with a pizza down your local restaurant, the, you don't really mind what the beer tastes like, you don't really, you know, you're not really looking into the... To, to the beer scene then fine enjoy it but me personally i want a lot more flavor for my beer so i'm gonna rate it it's not the worst beer i've ever drunk in the world it really isn't the worst beer for a lager for a mass-produced lager as i mentioned earlier as well i think it's quite impressive that the beer is at such a consistent level how many times have you bought a bottle of corona corona fans and gone this Corona don't taste as, as good as the Corona I had just a few months ago from when I was on holiday in Germany or, or, or America or Mexico or the UK. It, it generally tastes the same. So it's impressive on that front. But for me, there's nowhere near enough flavour in this beer to, to get me remotely excited about Corona. But I felt it was worth me giving my two pennies worth. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10 for Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.